Hi guys, for those who have seen me first time, my name is Rosa Falista and I'm the international editor for New Perfect. Today, because the weather is so nice, I thought I will chat with you a little bit about the very common new disorders, which is called uh, pseudomines and that's the greenies in the new position slugs. The reason why we are um, outside is just to show you the green water here. Yes, it's full of greenies. Um, you can definitely see that. And it will be a good example to, like, to explain what is this bacteria, where you can find it, and how you can catch it in the uh, I wrote a whole the dice, that's why this water has this color. Normally it's nice and crystal clear, uh, but because the pump which was uh, pumping the water to the UV sterilizer is gone, the bacteria multiply and the water becomes green. Cool. Uh, Pseudominus is a gram-negative bacterial spores and they're very common in most soils, they're very common in the water and it's really easy to catch it because you can find it everywhere. This bacteria produces a um, green color and that's uh, uh, Chromitia, Chloronitia, which is a um, byproduct uh, from the infection and it's mainly composed of the iron components. Um, you can see the fishes are really nicely swimming and I hope we get a new water from um, soon. But let's, um, let's talk how you can catch the greenies when you're doing a gardening job. Uh, as I'm really, really busy and I'm not always of my time to do my meals uh, as often as it should be done, as you can see, even now. Um, this harvest has been done in April and we're in June now, so that's really overdue for a rebalance. And if I would go into the stones and start clearing the filters, maybe with some stones and uh, put my hands there, uh, what it will do is, because I might have some small lifting, this green water could get underneath of my new enhancements and I could catch this bacteria and this bacteria could multiply and could cause uh, me to catch the greenies on my knees. Uh, this is a pretty common way of getting it, but it's also common to get it when you're doing some house jobs like cleaning, maybe a toilet, cleaning dishes, uh, because the bacteria lives in water. Uh, you could also catch it with your hairdresser, uh, so it's really important that uh, if we do have a client which uh, are hairdressers and work a lot of with the water, we advise them to come in each time when they got a little lifting and the rebalance time should be a little bit shorter. Uh, the easy way to get rid of the greenies is to use some topical antibiotics therapy and that will get rid of the green um, stains which are produced by the bacteria. I can actually show you how it looks on the how the bacteria looks itself. Um, that's a nice picture of it. Um, you can see it. So that's how the bacteria looks itself. And when we catch one, it's not a problem. It's really easy to get rid of that. But the problem starts when they multiply and we get lots of them. Then you can get a greenies on your nose. So the green color, as I say, is just a byproduct of the infection. Once we give the air to it and we uh, clean, uh, we clean the nails properly, the bacteria is dead, but the green stain still stay on the nails until it grow out. Another reason why you could catch the greenies is, um, example, you're getting, a, you're getting, or you are a client, or you're getting a client which is so busy lifestyle, you know, popping in with the phone, getting their nails done, touching face, touching hair, and then you didn't dehydrate the nails again before the application of the product, and she moved the bacteria she had on her face into her nails when she was picking up the phone, then you have put some product on the nails, and the bacteria have been trapped in between the product and the natural nail. Um, it's really important if you're doing the client's meals that if you turn around or they touch something, you dehydrate, 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 sometimes even a million times, uh, because that's the easiest way uh, how someone could uh, catch the bacteria. 
Another common way of catching it is uh, when the clients are so proud and coming back saying like, you know what, one of my nails fell off, but I find it super good in my draw and I have glued it back in. Mm. I always warn them, you know what, you might actually have some grease underneath of your nail plate uh, before I even touch the nail. And I explain that when we do the nail enhancements, you have to sanitize your hands, you have to dehydrate the nail plate, you have to prime the nail plate uh, to make sure everything is nice and clean before we apply any product. And if they put the glue on the nails without the preparation of the nail plate, there are really big chances they might catch the grease. We need to advise them if they break a nail or the nail fell off, they have to come back to the salon to get it properly fixed. Um, because um, when they glue in the nail, there is empty, empty space in between the enhancement and the nail plate and the water, like even washing the hands can easily get underneath of that and then the bacteria could multiply um, and they could just come back with green nail. You could also get it if you've got um, nail disorder, which is called uh, oncolysis. And oncolysis is when your nail plate separates from the nail bed. You've got an empty pocket in between your nail plate and your nail bed. And then again, it's so easy for the water or even like soil when you do some garden to get underneath and the bacteria could multiply. Um, we've got also a um, tiny bit of the skin which lies directly underneath of your uh, nail plate and it's called hyponicum when you put your finger um, high you can see it there is a tiny bit of the skin that's the seal which prevents our nail bed from any infections and when this seal is broken the bacteria can really easily get in. Um, I would advise if you, if you get a client which uh, catch the greenies because uh, maybe you was doing some garden jobs like I did or if you get a client which go in back nails or you didn't dehydrate the nail when the lady was touching her face or playing with her hair or picking up the phone the best thing you could do is um, remove the enhancement to get to the nail plate to check the condition of the nail plate because it will be definitely moist um, because uh, the bacteria like some um, oils it sticks on those oils and you need to sanitize it you need to dehydrate the nail plate really really well really well also a nail primer kills the bacteria as well so it's good to use the nail primer if the case is very small and you've got maybe like a small dot of the greens um, you could apply enhancement back on the day and um, you will have to watch it for the bacteria to do not multiply and do not grow bigger if you notice that then it has to be taken off and I would advise to send this lady to the doctor to get maybe a topical um, antibiotics to, to apply on those uh, areas. And uh, if it starts to clear it up, great, well done. But remember, because the nails um, takes a long time to fully grow out, um, the stain will remind her. So don't try to bath it uh, and get rid of that because it's, it's going to stay on the nails until it grows out. And um, of course, because this is uh, contagious, uh, we can't use the same tools or files um, on another nail. So when you will be doing this, um, this nail, you have to make sure you throw away all the files and don't use the same file you have used on the green nail into the healthy ones because uh, you could easily transfer those bacteria from one nail to another. This is actually a good picture as well. Um, actually, the picture is from the news magazine page. Uh, you can you can see on this nail that uh, this lady has some oncolysis there. Uh, that's where you've got an empty space in between the nail plate and the nail bed. So uh, she could get greenies underneath of that. And here she have got on top of the nail plate. Um, and um, that's a really, really good uh, example. Um, the colors, uh, let's talk maybe a little bit about the colors. When the condition is not too bad, it would be more into the yellow, very lightly green color. When the uh, infection is uh, pretty uh, bad, um, it will become green. And if it's really old and there is lots of um, um, pseudominous bacteria on it, it will turn almost blueish, like dark blue 
green almost black sometimes in the color that means uh, the condition is really advanced and we should never like in this case i would never apply any enhancement on the nails so straight away we need to uh, clear it at first from the nails and um, ideally we could advise to send the lady to the doctor and um, get some antibiotics to, to, to kill the bacteria uh, which are on the snail. Uh, I think that I have mentioned the most uh, common ways of catching the popular greenies uh, bacteria on the nails and uh, I think it will be good to chat about more nail disorders so if you have enjoyed uh, this short video I invite you to watch uh, more because I'm thinking of doing the weather is nice so I will be sitting often in the garden and we'll be doing uh, more videos for you um, about other nail disorders like onychomycosis uh, and um, fun like fungals uh, because another thing to remember a greenies is not a fungal infection it's a bacterial infection and that's totally uh, easier form of the nail disorders to treat um, but in the next uh, next video I will be happy to chat a little bit about the serious uh, nail disorder uh, which is uh, fungal so click click subscribe and wait for my another uh, video which will comment very soon thanks for watching bye